judgment, el juicio. And this is also a major arcana. Okay. And it is, yeah, and it is card 20 of the major arcana. All right. And this is a, 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 I love this card. This is a beautiful card. Um, let's talk about this card. Um, uh, let's see. So the angel is the Archangel Gabriel or Gabriel. And he say in Spanish, I say Gabriel. So that's why I say Gabriel, because I'm still thinking like that Spanish influence, but in English it's Gabriel, right? Gabriel. And he is the angel of messages, and that's why he's blowing his horn. It's like trying to get your attention. Okay, his trumpet symbolizes the afterlife's triumph over death. He's spreading the good news. There's triumph over death. Denoting endings. Okay. Followed by positive new beginnings. So it's almost like saying, don't freak out because something's ending. There will be something new coming along. When something leaves, something always comes in and replaces it, right? Now, the white banner with the orange cross or red cross is a standard Christian symbol. And this symbol comes from way back in the era of Constantine. Okay, this was his victory banner. This is the banner that he used um, be, he, because he was the first Christian emperor. And that was his banner. So uh, that's uh, his, big, his victory banner. Okay. Uh, but when Gabriel holds this banner, it symbolizes victory over death. For Constantine, it was, uh, okay, so I'm the first um uh, Christian emperor and I will conquer the world <laughs> with my Christian God and while here it's um, victory over death that's what this banner symbolizes here that Gabriel is holding in now a man and a woman and a child are being called from the tomb of ego consciousness okay <laughs> it's not from the dead <laughs> it's about the ego the three people are reflected on the other side of the river. Okay, do you see how they're on the other side of the river? Those are the same three people. And this is another symbol of the soul's victory over death. Like they've crossed over to the other side, but they're, you know, they've died or they've crossed their ego. Something has changed in them and they've crossed over and there's like a new rebirth. Okay, that's what that means. Now these three people on the other side are also a symbol of the three pe of the three pillars of the tree of life. So the tree of life is pretty pretty important, and maybe we should talk about the significance of that in another reading, or I'll do it as an introduction. Uh, it's pretty important. Now the ocean that's between the two sides, okay, represents the end of the river. Yeah, I think that's because most rivers eventually flow down towards their oceans, right? Uh, and and this 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 symbolizes individuals coming together for a greater good. The mountains represent the structure that surrounds us all. Okay, gotta have structure. Need that structure. Now, uh, in in terms of astrology. This card is ruled by Pluto, the planet Pluto. And the planet Pluto is the planet of transformation, and its element is fire. Yeah. Pluto also represents the subconscious forces and rules everything hidden in the depth of our minds, kind of like the moon of the high priestess, right? It represents endings and new beginnings. So there we go again, new beginnings and endings. The position of Pluto shows where people search for truth and uh, for deeper meaning. 
So it depends on when they what they're talking about the position of the of Pluto in your astrological chart or in the astrological chart. Remember, this is astrological components of the card. Uh, there might be an issue with power struggles and control. Okay, so that might be the deeper meanings. It is important to feel we are in control of our own lives, of course, and that we are living our highest calling in life. So when this card shows up, we search for change and transformation, and we are encouraged to accept our deeper needs, that kind of thing. If we choose to ignore our dark side, destructiveness might soon follow now, the Judgment Tarot card meanings, uh, these may indicate taking responsibility for your actions and your life, being a good judge of character, seeing the truth and knowing what you want. All right. The Judgment card um, often shows up when you need to step up and be a leader to speak the truth and to be a little bit more assertive perhaps uh, this card also shows up around endings and new beginnings